Mr. Brandon came to collect, y'all. He came to collect. He knew exactly what he was doing. But hey, y'all, welcome back to another review of Life with Chester for General Hospital, August 26, 2024. Okay, y'all. So first thing first, let me know down below what y'all thought of today's episode. So I guess we're going to start with Jason now. So I was like, okay, we've been trying to figure out why would he help her? Does he like her that much or did he want something? And I was thinking, I was like, oh, wasn't he the one before Valentine got in charge? Wasn't he in charge of Pikeman? And wasn't he the one having Jason doing all those meetings or was it somebody else? But yeah, okay, on today's episode, so basically we learned what he want. He want Jason to do whatever he say. He told me, so you wouldn't be working for me. You be working with me and all this stuff. Tell me, so it'd be this and that job. You have to remove people and all that other stuff. And I said, so the same thing he was doing already, basically. So, Jason was like, no, not interested. And he ends up leaving. Well, before that, I skipped the part. So, he ended up using Carly to get Jason there. Because he knew he wasn't going to meet otherwise. So, at first, Jason wasn't trying to hear him. And then he, he ends up having a meeting. And he mentioned how he knew that he was the one who got rid of the audio recording or whatever. And then Jason brought up, you know, him using it. He told us, no, it'll be admissible and all the other stuff. I said, that's exactly why you did it. You wouldn't have brought it up. So then, first of all, uh, Jason, the one who brought it up. But then when Jason got ready to leave, he was saying how, let me see if I wrote it down. I don't think I wrote it down. Um, he said something about let what he did or how he helped Carla be basically his word or that he's some good or whatever whatever he said y'all know what he said <laughs> a bunch of baloney <laughs> i said he wanted to mention it or brought it up again if he wasn't trying to use it to his advantage and jason peep game jason peep game he know he know what he finna do i said see see i said look at here look at here look at here jason and carla thought they was out of it they thought they was out of it but no no but he told him to think about it he told jason to think about it i said see this is what you get trying to save everybody. This is what you get for trying to save everybody. So Carly went to Anna to ask what Mr. Brennan wanted. What? What's his name, Jack? What Jack wanted or whatever. She was like, I don't know, but I intend to find out. He want the same thing that Jason was doing for him to do the job that he want. And I said, see, man, they in another situation. Well, the same situation, actually. I think that's all that happened with them. He wanted, he presented a job offer for Jason. Jason declined. He told him to think about it. He brings up Carly or the fact that he helped Carly. I said, yeah, I thought they would have mentioned to Carly what, who did it by now. That Jason would have said something or Mr. Brennan would have said something. You know, the last time Carly was meeting with Mr. Brennan, Anna interrupted. So maybe he was going to tell her then. Maybe he's going to tell her then, or he had no intention of telling her because, you know, he want to use that to his advantage. I said, look, man, come on now. Uh, who we going to go with next? Who we going to go with next? Uh, Robert and Anna. Might as well, since we was already talking about them. So she wanted Robert to use his resources to help find Valentine. I said, didn't you help him leave? Well, she helped him leave. She didn't actually help him go wherever he went. She thinks that Mr. Brennan is the one that, you know, helped Valentine. Obviously, he is because he mentioned something. Both of them. Both of them was in cahoots together, basically, to help Valentine. Now she's trying to bring him back. She mentions, you know, Charlotte. I sound so sick of her mentioning Charlotte. <laughs> I said, she trying to make sure that uh, some of them don't get to him first. <laughs> That's what she really want. Robert P. Gang, he was like, okay, is that really the reason why? For Charlotte? Because she told him about Lulu and everything. And I said, look, everybody been reading her. Everybody been getting her. <laughs> but yeah, um, speaking of Lulu, I think... Before we get to Lulu, we got to talk about Gio and Lois. So, Lois ends up asking Gio, you know, about her accent again. And it looked like she was calling somebody basically to help her lose the accent. Because she was talking to Gio. He was saying it's fine. Everybody, he was telling her basically look at the ratings, look at the family group chat, and just everybody just rooting her on and everything. And I said, she ain't hearing none of that. She ain't hearing none of that. Even Tracy, when they first showed her in Brooklyn, she was saying how she expected Lois to give a comeback because she always had a comeback, but she didn't. I said, because she focused on what that lady said. And I think Brooklyn was saying, you know, she wondered who it was. I thought she knew. I thought it was the bag lady. I thought that's why they showed it. I thought that's why they showed it, showed her talking to the lady with the purses and stuff. But I guess not. But yeah, then that's when Chase came. He informed Brooklyn that Lulu uh, has been moved to GH and she's doing bad. I knew then that Tracy was upset or sad about it because of the look on her face. And I was waiting on Brooklyn to, to see it. So she ends up realizing it, whatever. Tracy ended up going to see her at the end of the episode. Um, Lulu has, what did they say, psoriasis of the liver or something like that? What's crazy, y'all? I was just on somebody live this morning and they was talking about the liver situation. 
they was talking about the liver situation. They were saying how you can't get a full liver. They need the liver to survive, but you can't get a, a, a part of it. Is that what they said? And it can regenerate or something like that. And then they started talking about it on today's episode. I said, look at here. But yeah, she got some psor- psoriasis of the liver. Um, They were saying how she would need a transplant from, you know, a full sibling. But since they can't get a hold of Lucky, they can go into Nicholas. And I said, what if he ain't a match? I said, Lucky gonna have to come back. That's why, that's probably why they brought him back, y'all. But yeah, um, Lucky seems to be undercover working to get that doctor. I, I didn't catch his name. Did anybody catch his name? Working to get him out of there or whatever. So I wonder how long this gonna take, especially since, you know, Lulu doing bad. She needs a transplant now. So we'll see, y'all. Sam and Dante. I almost forgot about them. I almost forgot about them. Let me see. Let me make sure. I said Lucky must be undercover. He was trying to get hired. He ends up getting hired. They was testing him or whatever. I think he was trying to save the doctor, dude. Mr. Brennan used Carly to get Jason. We talked about that. We already talked about Lucy. Lucy. Lulu got uh, psoriasis of the liver. Anna and Robert. Chase tells Brooklyn about Lulu. Lois considering losing her accent. Sam and Dante. Sam wants Dante to talk about his feelings or whatever. She was saying how she knows that um, he still loves Lulu and everything. I said, you need to be worried about when she wake up. <laughs> you need to be worried about that. I said, they always show people saying, you know, I know. I know that you always love them, but then when they get fully back or whatever, and you see that they really in love with them still, you know, it's a problem. I feel like she's still in love with Jason, too. I feel like that's the way the show going to always be written. <laughs> and it's only a matter of time for they get back together, but we'll see. We'll see. But, yeah, um, people are saying, once again, that Lulu coming back, that Lucky's going to be the one to save her. But, yeah, they was just talking about Lulu. She walked in on him talking to Lulu, and that's when she was like, you can talk about your feelings, it's okay. Then they offered to get tested, and that's when Laura said, you know, it had to be a blood relative. And um, they mentioned the brothers. They can't get a hold of Lucky, so they going to, is he in Pennville? Is Nicholas in Pennville? I'm surprised he's still locked up at this point. <laughs> but, yeah, um, they supposed to be talking to him. I think Laura going to be talking to him on tomorrow's episode. Sometime this week, that's what I know for sure or whatever. But I think that's everything. Let me see. Jason asked Mr. Brennan what he going to do with that audio file. But I think that's everything, y'all. Let me know y'all thoughts on this episode down below. Stay tuned for the next review. Until next time, do this is how girl rest of the day and be safe.